Some say that James Temple was the greatest stand-up comedian to ever live. Others say that he was the greatest pianist to ever live. That, however, would not make sense because James Temple never learned how to play the piano. James Temple was born on the 31st of January, 1998, to parents Kahona and Ang Patu in the small Inuit village of Igluluk in the remote region of Kikikdaluk. Ridiculed for his fiery red hair, James was outcast by the Ring of Elders and forced to walk from Igluluk to Toronto, Ontario, where he took refuge with Arnold Temple. In his new home, James attended Greenwood College, where every student and teacher was a terrible human being. He graduated with an average of 99% before moving to his focus on stand-up comedy. You got this. You're gonna be a star, man. You're gonna be a star. Sam Hall, Mr. Crossland, entertainment manager. And you're gonna be great out there, man. You're gonna be great. It's all up to you now. I'll be happy to work with you. See you out there. James had ultimately made it as a comedian, with appearances on popular television series like The Ben Scott Show. Hey, folks. Thanks for joining me on this special evening on The Ben Scott Show. Please welcome my first guest and only friend, Mr. James Temple. Great to see you, James. Uh, it's great to be here. So how does it feel reaching alpha status in comedy? Oh, well, you're too young. Well, that's very nice of you. Hey, remember that time we went to Fiji together? I'm, s I'm sorry, what? Something about Fiji. Hey! We also went to the Turkish prison for 23 months. Remember that? I, I don't recall. Um, you don't recall? I really, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I have no friends, but we're going to cut to break. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay, stay, keep your channels locked, folks. James was the ultimate comedian. Rick Moranis? More like... Rick Moranis! He had a knack for dealing with hecklers. You saw him? I'll blow up your house and kill your family! He was always honest with his emotions. <laughs> Good. Hey guys. Look at old uh, Sam picked up from the arts and crafts store. That's right. Elmer's. What are we gonna do? Build a model? No, I'm pretty sure you sniff it. <sighs> oh, you're goddamn right, Ben. You can't get high off Elmer's glue. Yo, you try it and find out, buddy. Hey, Sam, can I take a hit? You sure can, Thank Ben. Thank you. Oh, that's good substance, eh? That's good substance. Wow, it just makes your nasals just feel hot and just used. It's like, it's like a car at a NASCAR race on lap 40 when they just hit the other driver. Wow, they just, just crashed that car. And what, like, what is it, Autumn? My allergies are acting up again. It feels like allergy season. My mistakes. Spring is the year for allergies. Sorry. I'm 
six. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> that was good stuff, man. This is the wow. Good stuff. Wowza. Oh, I could get into this. I can. I can. I can make this a regular thing for me. Right. <sighs> switch. James developed an addiction to sniffing glue. It ruined him as a person and as a comedian. Hello, welcome back to the Ben Scott Show. My guest today is James Temple, my best friend. Good to see you, James. So how is it going today? I'd like to remind James that this is a general audience's program. So if we can put that <laughs> thing away. So, uh, so how, how's your family? <laughs> Switching gears now. Remember that time we went to the Bahamas last weekend? That never happened, you when we turd. Did he say terrific? I think so. Existence is an empty, pitch black void. Well, I didn't have a hard void to fill after that great remark. Eat shit. Yeah. Well, good job. Uh, good to know you're still well. See you tomorrow. 